uh, when you're done, right, you say, well, you know, <laughs> you kind of pulling your pants up yeah, a little right. bit, right, and say, well, you know, I fixed your problem, and uh, I'm going to charge you, uh, let's see, what show? 50 bucks. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to charge you. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 426th episode of Potty Talk. I'm here with the lovely Laura. And of course, yours truly, the million dollar plumber. All right. Million dollar plumber. All right. How are you doing, baby? Doing great. Hey, this is a fun one here. Hey, yeah. you ever get flustered? I got a question for you guys out there. You ever get flustered with uh, customer objections? Mm. All right. Do you ever get flustered with customer, customer objections? objections? Customer objections don't happen happen in the plumbing no. or home service world. No, they don't. Customers Never. are always happy to pay and happy to, exactly. to have work done. Happy, happy, Objections happy. happen, but... Look, it really is easy. I'm going to share a, a very powerful three-step, okay, uh, script. Okay. Pro- you can go through here. That just Yeah, just overcomes mm-hmm. the objections. I mean, mm-hmm. there's so much of this is sales. Uh, I get, this is where I, I do draw the line of you got to have special sales training. Mm-hmm. That's a cop-out. In fact, I, you know, I know of even some that, you know, bring in, you know, they have sales talks and all, you know, mm-hmm. and train. It, it's a cop-out. And you're, you're looking, that's, of course, of course the guys are listening and think it's fun. And, and love whatever going what? on because they get they get like a free lunch or whatever. Oh, if you bring in training. sales training, I see. You're doing mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. but the guys don't want to be salesmen, and they're not salesmen, no. okay? And they're never going to be salesmen. And trying to make your guys salesmen is, is what the problem is. Teach okay. them to be servicemen. There we go. Exactly. Huh? Very good. Hashtag. Right. All right. <laughs> to to serve, okay? To but serve can, the customer. But you really, man, we we have you know. A process, okay, that, that we teach and train has worked for, you know, in our business over 20, 20 years, mm-hmm. okay, and I, I've been to all the sale, I mean, done it all. Mm-hmm. This is, again, I'm going to remind I'm in my 40th year in the trades here, so I've seen it all, heard it all, keep done it, simple. it all. All right, and of course, you know, I've seen guys do, you know, I just, I hate the, the sales excuse. We need sales training, mm-hmm. okay? You don't need sales training, mm-hmm. all right? You need service training. You need service okay? training, right. But you do these three things, okay? Mm-hmm. And this is how you'll close 98% of your calls. You don't yes. need special words. Mm-hmm. You know, well, there is one that you, you need to ask a question. It is the mm-hmm. million dollar. I mean, it works. Okay. That's point but, three, I'll bet. You know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> save, the, save the best for last. Okay. Mm-hmm. But. Yes. And know. we teach this in the Success Academy, the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. We teach all these things such as being um, service men and women as opposed to sales men and women. We teach right. that and, and many other things in the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy and would love to talk to you about it. would love to talk about what's going on with your business. What are some of the, the struggles that you'd love to overcome or what, you know, maybe you're just starting out with your plumbing business or maybe your business has been going on for a while and you're like, man, I am two steps ahead and 14 steps back some days, right? Um, we offer you to book a call with one of our success coaches. Just go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. You can book a call with our success manager, have a conversation, see if maybe the million dollar plumber success Academy is a good fit for you. Right. You go. It may not be. It may be. We pretty right. much think that it point, is. No matter what, we'll point you in the right direction. Exactly. Yeah. There's not a heavy push here. So no, uh, we, 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 we service, right? We service you. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're service people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are the three steps here? I and really, have we've no seen idea. this. This is your close, 90% of your calls. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so when you get that objection, mm-hmm. okay, um, and it, it, you get any, obje- any kind of objection, first of all, I'd like to say, you know, you've heard me say, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or whatever. They don't. Okay. But they called you. They're already sold. Right. They're already sold. Stop turning them off. They're already <laughs> sold. Okay. But they, are, they do want to say no because mm-hmm. no one wants to. No to spend money. Right. On, mm-hmm. on a plumber. Right. Or, or you HVAC guys mm-hmm. or Sparkies or, you know, whatever. You or is it Sparkies? Call do Sparkies call themselves Sparkies or is Sparkies a derogatory? I don't know. Hold on a second. You got a fuzzball right okay. now. Okay. Um, do Sparkies, is that a complimentary okay. phrase or? Well, I guess Sorry. it's better than what they called me in this, <laughs> <laughs> on the job. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, as, uh-huh. as we had a plumbing business and I knew we called electrician Sparky, but I didn't know if that was a derogatory phrase. Uh, I don't want to. Guys can get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkies. All right. <laughs> okay. right. There's know. a little competition between the trades. That you guys is. all know that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So what you do these three things, you'll close 90, 90% of the calls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Number one. Okay. You get that objection. Number one, mm-hmm. go over the offer. Huh? Go over off the offer. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, I disagree. I totally disagree. I think you should walk into the house. Just plug away. Don't ask questions. Just plug away. You know, walk to the problem. You know, if it's a toilet, just Miss Jones are here. Fix your, fix your toilet. Step aside. Ste- I am here to fix your toilet. I'm here walk to in. save the day. I'm here to save the day. Walk into the toilet, into the bathroom. 
clink around on the toilet. You know, put a Band-Aid fix on it, put some gum on it, some super glue. If she starts talking, go, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. uh-uh. I, no, Or if she I, calls it the doohickey, cor- mo- most assuredly correct her. Yes. If she calls some sort of plumbing issue something the wrong name, correct and Mrs. Jones. tell her everything you know yes. about the situation. Absolutely. That is, yes. that is the way to go. Um, and then uh, when you're done, right, you say, well, you know, <laughs> you kind of pulling your pants up yeah, a little right. bit, right, and say, well, you know, I fixed your problem, and uh, I'm going to charge you. Oh, let's see. What shall? 50 bucks. That's what I'm going to charge you. You're in the money. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes. So, no. All right. I know. I know you're, 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 you're in the mood today. I know. I don't know right. why. Right. Well, actually, we do, but. Sadly, that's what mostly <laughs> happens out there. Mm-hmm. And when you do get the objection, they panic and they go back to the shop and, you know, you ask, you ask your guy, you know, why didn't you close the call? What, what happened? Mm-hmm. What, they, they objected. Oh, I need to get some sales training here. <laughs> <laughs> stupid is as stupid, stupid does. does. <laughs> okay, I know. Where, uh, hey, just want to hit it. Mm-hmm. This is why we see guys struggle. This, and it, it's, it's so such an easy fix. It's such an easy fix. Mm-hmm. You push back, the, you know, again, the customer, you got to understand the whole psychology of what's happening here. Okay, and if we did just walk into the house and that kind of stuff, the mm-hmm. customer's going to stay uncomfortable. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. If we didn't, you know, listen to or let, let you know, so what, what are you experiencing with, uh, you hear a tinkling sound? What, what do you hear? What's Tell going me about on? it. Right. Even though you already know what the problem is. It doesn't Guys. matter what you know. <laughs> Okay. I'm, I'm going to give you some advice. Right. I'm going to give you some advice. Okay. And We're this, going off a tan. We're going, <laughs> going to give you some advice. And this will be helpful in your business. And also, if you're married, it's going to help in your married life is too. In your married life too. Um, us women want to be heard. Yeah. We just want, we want to be heard. We want to be heard. We, we don't, I, mean, I was going to say, we don't want you to fix it. Right. That's in the right. marriage. Right. And when right. you're right. in the customer's house, okay, yeah, she wants you to fix it. That would be the, the um, exemption to the rule. But we just want to be heard. We want to tell our story. We want to be like, Oh man, the middle of the night, the thing keeps going, the toilet keeps running, it's driving me crazy, and I can't get any sleep, and la 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 la. It only seems to happen on you know a full moon on a Tuesday, or what? It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I, let Mrs. Jones tell her story. Again, Mr. Professional Plumber, you know what the problem is. You know you've seen a billion of them, right? But to Mrs. Jones, this is the only problem that exists. So listen to your customer, hear her when she speaks. Right. Yes. It is. It is that. It's really that easy. And then is, also in your marriage, hold on, in your marriage, right. um, us women, we just want to be heard. We just want to be heard. And most of the time, we don't. No, all the time, we don't want you to fix it. Just saying, we right. just want to be. We just want to. We just want to vent. We just want to talk. And ladies, if there's any ladies watching potty talk, please comment and, and give me an amen. And I know every single woman on the planet is saying, yes, I just want my husband to listen to me and not try to fix whatever problem I'm bringing to you. Have I done something to you or haven't done something? <laughs> because I, are you speaking to me? I mean, there's. No, there's, you're much better. You used to do it a lot. You're, mu- you're much better. Okay. So much, much better. But still, I mean, you're a guy. So the tendency is for guys, because that's how you're created. That's how you're wired. God wired you that way to be problem solvers and to be fixers. Right. Right. Um, as women. I want you to shut up. <laughs> uh, anyway, right, so that was the probably, bonus one. <laughs> so we probably walked in there okay, you know, get to, you know, with the objection. Mm-hmm. If, if you are getting objections, of course, um, it's you, you haven't set up that, a credible, that you're credible. Mm-hmm. Or you haven't set up that, they, that, that you actually care about them, that, those kind of things. So there are things that we you know, teach that you, know, you got to do. That's, there's no, nothing special about that, but it's just reminding, such as listen. Okay, listen, there's nothing, nothing rocket science about that. That's not a special word. Mm-hmm. That's not some time that, okay, and this kind of customer, when they say this or display this, then we listen or we don't. That's something you do all the time, okay? Yes. So if we haven't done those things, okay? Mm-hmm. But if you come up with a customer objection, mm-hmm. is objecting to, they don't trust you. It's either because you haven't done your job. Mm-hmm. Of course, it is the price. And it is the price. So, so we're kind of wondering about the, it's really two things. The customer doesn't trust you. They're objecting. An objection is, is, well, I need to talk to my husband. Mm-hmm. Or um, I'm just calling around getting prices. Right. Or, you know, th- that's those kinds of things. That's what they're saying is, I don't trust you. Mm-hmm. Or, boy, this is way too much too expensive. Right. This is way more than mm-hmm. what I thought it was going to be. Right. Okay. Which it always is. Okay. Correct. Some will actually voice that. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that, that's easy then. Mm-hmm. Okay. But really, that's only two things are happening. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't need... So there's not special words or something you need to say, okay? Mm-hmm. We see that you do these three things, mm-hmm. okay? You will close this call, okay? Yep. And it's, again, mm-hmm. go over the offer. Yes. It may not be clear on the offer. I mean, just mm-hmm. clarify. Because mm-hmm. you're offering options. Right. Mm-hmm. And so they may not understand what all is you said because 
they're, they may be listening, but they're not listening because mm-hmm. they're, oh, how much is, uh, and they hear the pricing and the, okay, and the mind goes, it's always more. And don't be afraid of the pricing. That's why I said, as soon as we got our, the team set up to where, expect them to throw up <laughs> or their heads spin around or they speak in some demon voice or <laughs> cry or do something that they're every single time. Mm-hmm. Because no one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. <laughs> no one wants to spend any money with a plumber, mm-hmm. okay, or any home service, okay? So the objection is the price, mm-hmm. all right? Yes. But we clarify what – make sure they understand the offer. Make sure they understand the offer. Okay. Again, you're offering options, right? So make sure they understand the different options. It could be, again, we use the toilet example almost all the time, or let's use a different water heater, right? So you've gone out and the water heater is not keeping water hot, um, and, the, and the tanks, you know – seven years old, right? And depending on where you are in the country and how long water heaters last and all that kind of stuff, um, you want to arm the customer with information. Yeah, the tank hasn't burst, right? It's not leaking. So you probably can change, you know, something in one of the components, whether it be the thermostat or an element or whatever it might be. But offering the customer a new water heater and then and then tell her about it, right? Say, you know, here in, um, in, in our area, especially in Indianapolis, we had really, really hard water, super hard water in, in Indiana. And so um, plumbing mechanicals didn't last as long. So we could tell Mrs. Jones, your water here is about seven years old. Typically in our area, they last around six years old. Um, I'd be time to consider you know, replacing the water here and, you know, here's, here's the newest water heater and blah, 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 but arm them with the information, give them information. You're the professional, you're the professional. Right. Um, the customer doesn't call a plumber every day, every week, every month. It's, it's an uncommon or it's not uncommon, but it's an unfamiliar situation to them. So you're the professional, give them all of the information. And it's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Again, what they did here, they don't want to spend money on plumbing. Mm-hmm. And so they've heard the pricing now in their mind. So you may have been telling them about all the great benefits of this piece of equipment to repair or whatever you're going to do, but they just heard the price and in their mind going, oh my God, that's what's way more than I thought it was right. going to be. I just got the car taken care of and now I'm going <laughs> to pay for this. And uh, oh man, man I, Johnny's got braces. I got to get right. How am I going to, man, the whole world's coming apart here mm-hmm. before, before we know it, there's going to be men dressing in women's locker rooms and oh, what that, are we going to do? <laughs> that could never happen. Right. That would be and insanity. And so their mind, and they're thinking all that. And, you know, they didn't even hear what, what the, what mm-hmm. the offer was. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what, you know, what the repair was. Mm-hmm. So when they do p- get the objection, you can ask, well, is it, is there something you didn't understand? No matter what they said, mm-hmm. what they or, said. No, no, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say something you didn't understand. Is there something I can clarify for you? Right. They're right. right. That's right. That's Thank a better you. way to put it. Is that's yes. right. I know. So <laughs> okay. Because us girls don't want to think we don't is understand there something, something. you don't understand? <laughs> Little <laughs> woman. <laughs> right. Throw that in too. Little right. missus, <laughs> can you get your husband in here right. and maybe he can explain it to you? <laughs> oh, you will get up hand to the gotcha. side of the head so fast. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I think a better way to say it, you would have stepped into that one better. Yeah, right. Better way to say it is there's something I can clarify for you. Right. And in, in, in what I've, you know, the and information no what I've given say, you. So they say, well, I, you know, I just, you know, I, you know, I'm just calling around getting prices. Well, is there something I need to clarify with you? Mm-hmm. One of the, you're looking at one of mm-hmm. the options and is it something I need to clarify? Right. Oh, I need to talk with my husband, whatever. I got, well, is this something I can clarify for you that mm-hmm. you can talk to him? You know? Right. Um, so it's, you want to c- make sure they understand. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then if that, go to the next thing is point number two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Offer a credible discount. Mm. Okay. Offer a credible discount. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two key words there. Okay. Credible. Credible discount. First of all, credible discount. Right. Just don't say, well, I could take, you know, I could take $20 off that. Right. Or $100. Not 20 50 How about 100 Yeah, don't, right. <laughs> don't do that. You know, so what if it's, uh, don't start wheeling that, that you feel like you can wheel and deal on the price. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. But a in credible, that manner. In the manner. In that manner. It is about the money. Mm-hmm. 9.9 times out of 10, it is about the money. We need to stop being afraid of that. Again, no one wakes up in the morning wants to call a plumber. No one wants to spend money on plumbing. It is about the money. Mm-hmm. Okay, if we've done everything else right, we've communicated with them, we showed up, we've listened, we've diagnosed, we did, there's credibility, you know, they like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. They get to where, oh, whatever they say, whatever that objection is, it's about the money. Mm-hmm. Okay. 40 years, guys, 40 years. I've been, been in the trades now. It's my 40th year. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, no, it doesn't change. Mm-hmm. Music styles have changed. Clothing styles <laughs> have changed. Okay, dr- where you can dress, what dressing room you can change in is changed, okay? <laughs> but this has never changed. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So. Offer credible discounts. Credible so things discount. that you can offer is right. um, the best and easiest way is are they a um, repeat customer 
or are they a new customer? Right. Right. So you can say, well, Mrs. Jones looks like, you know, you're a repeat customer. We love to take care of our repeat customers. What I can do is um, offer you all, offer you 10% off if, if we do the work today, not in the future. Right. I've got it. And then you can say, I've got a time open. This, this time open to take care of whatever the issue is, you know, for you. Um, and so I can give you 10% off if I'm we do the work. I'm, I'm authorized. I'm authorized to, to, to give you a 10% discount because you're a repeat customer. Or it's, hi, Mrs. Jones, looks like you're a new customer. And right. we'd love to earn, um, would love to earn your business. I'm authorized to give you 10% off new customer discount if I can do the work today. Right. It's that easy. You, right. Mm -hmm. It's that I easy. Just, it's that easy. Mm -hmm. And that may be enough. We all like, everybody likes a little bit of, um, Money off. Of course. I remember I would get, hey, and as we're recording, we're, we're having Pizza King tonight. <laughs> and those who know, that's our favorite pizza from Indiana. We don't live in Indiana long, but it's mm. the best pizza in the world. Mm. <laughs> it is the it best really pizza. It really is the best pizza okay? in the world. It's, it's also stable. the most. It's, and you can get it delivered. Um, we frozen. Have, we haven't flown in now. Yeah, we do. We, 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 <laughs> Some people fly in lobsters and stuff <laughs> like that. We, we, no, <laughs> greasy old. See, I told you, I'm just a redneck at heart. <laughs> greasy old Indiana pizza, pizza right. that we grew up on. But anyway, right. so yeah, we and when we have it say flown in, it's like they they do ship <laughs> like on ice, dry ice, and all that wow. kind of stuff. But and we well, okay, that's all I'm just going to go down from a price standpoint. It really is cost effective. I'm just all I'm saying. Well, it is. But anyway, I know. I know, stuff, right. I know. So I know where you're going with the Pizza King discount, right? Well, yeah, we know how discounting works. Okay, and this is one thing we teach in you know in the academy of how, how to use a discount. By the way, customer pays for everything. All customers pay for everything. Okay, mm -hmm. and so we know I know how it works. But we're buying a pizza. I'm going to pick up a pizza, you know, back there and and uh, pick up for delivery. And it's kind of ex it is. It is a top it's line an, it, for what it is. It's an expensive pizza, pizza, you know, and it's usually served in these hole in the wall places, you know, in small town, <laughs> Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> right. And it's, you know, it's like twice as much as Domino's or something, you know, but it is good. So, so anyways, good. I'm up there paying for the pizza and she pulls, they have a stack of this coop, you know, the new flyers or things are going out. Hey, I got a coupon here for you. You know, it was 10% off. Mm -hmm. uh, and I went, Oh, cool. Great. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was like a little kid, you mm -hmm. know, I was, but like a little kid, mm -hmm. I'm getting, get, a little, get a little discount. Yeah. And I know how it works. <laughs> okay. That's what discounts do. Yes. Okay. That's even just having that little bit for your customer, mm -hmm. giving that 10%. Right. It gets them over the, okay, I got a little something. Right. They gave me a little something. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not as bad. Right. All right. And make sure if, if they then, you know, go with whatever work and you're going to give them 10% off, make sure you show that on your invoice. Right. This is so important. You guys show um, the discount that they're getting on the invoice. So you know, hopefully you're using some sort of um, field management software, um, but show the task that you're going to do, right? And the full price, the full price. And then another line item is the discount. So 10% discount. So say the bill is 500 bucks, then show the full price of whatever the task is. And then the next line, 10% um, new customer discount, and then minus 50 bucks, right? 10%, 50 bucks. You, you have to do that because if you don't do that, in their minds, the, the discount didn't happen. We have to see it. Guys, think about this. Go, when you go to Walmart, when you go to any store, Kohl's. Kohl's is a great example example of how they do um, this, what I don't, whatever this is called, you know, discount psychology or whatever, huh. right? You go to Kohl's and they always show the full price, right? They either got it on a little um, sticker above or whatever it is, they show the full price. And then right next to it is what the discounted price is always. Right. Why do you think they do that? Why don't they just put what the price, what the new price is? Get, if they have Cause all the sale? advertising says 20% off, right? 20% off all the, you know, fall clothing or whatever right. that, you know, mm -hmm. whatever that is. So they don't just and wipe so they, out the original out price. Right. They, they show right. you the discounted price. Right. And the reason that they do that is because human psychology wants to see that we got the discount. So you absolutely have to put it on the invoice. All right. Mm -hmm. It has to be credible. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. So I, you know, I even say this, you know, it could be a pet lover. They got a pet and we had that a pet lover's discount. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, I know. And even just saying that pet lover's discount, mm -hmm. dog oh, lovers, cat lover, lover, whatever, goldfish lover, whatever. It, it, do, it doesn't matter. Oh, I, but they have, if, if you have a, we have a goldfish <laughs> lover discount. You got to see that they have a goldfish and that they say, okay. And what, but what the, what happens in their mind is, well, I'm a goldfish lover. I have a goldfish. I love goldfish. Okay, that works. Mm -hmm. I got I got me a goldfish lover <laughs> discount. Okay, <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but psychologically, that is simply what's happening. Uh -huh. Okay, so whether it's a senior, 
you know, discount. You got to be, you know, if you think it doesn't matter worrying about their older. Hold on, hold on. No, see, I did. The little, senior, then they have to be obviously a senior. Obviously, obviously right. a senior. Be real careful, guys, with that. Or I, would, I think we're considered. Well, no, we got a couple more years. Yeah, but I would be right. totally um, offended if someone offered me a senior discount. Well, I'm already get that AARP stuff in the mail. You know, it's like. <laughs> And they're planning my, you know, your barrier, know. burial <laughs> stuff, you know. <laughs> what what, what the? Funeral home <laughs> newsletters and stuff. What the heck? <laughs> Golly. Yeah, I, I get on some kind of mailing list. What happened to the, anyways. <laughs> yeah, when we hit 60, <laughs> right. that was what it was. So <laughs> it's, um, you know, incredible in that way. Mm-hmm. You know, so even like, you know, uh, um, first responders family, you know, so mm-hmm. it goes with, yeah, we didn't you, call it first responder. We called it a military discount. But right. today I'd call it a you know, a first, first responder mm-hmm. family police officers. Be, because you could see they may have pictures of their kids. You don't know who the police officer is or the mm-hmm. fireman or the, uh, you know, the Marine or whatever they have that you see the pictures or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's why you gotta be aware. Right. But you, and that's something they're proud of too, by the way. Mm-hmm. So that helps psychologically with given the discount mm-hmm. and the pricing, everything that's going on. I'm getting something because our family is this. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. And you okay. also want to make sure that you only offer one discount, right? One, one, one di- discount. Yeah. Because one what you don't want to do is, you know, kind of say, okay, I'm going to give you a new customer discount, 10%. And then you go and do the work and then you come back and then they're they're like, oh, I found this coupon, which hopefully you don't have coupons on your website for the Mars boat. Don't, don't. Coup- coupons don't work. But if you've got some sort of, you know, newsletter or something that went out that said, you know, 15% off work that we do, yeah, we whatever. We talked about that, sending out a newsletter with mm-hmm. it, right? With a discount. Right. They can't then come and say, oh, by the way, I found this on your, your website or I got an email of 15%. No, it's one discount. And that's what's common. Okay. So what you can say is, well, let's, you know, depending on what the discounts are, let's take a look and see which one's going to be your better value. Yes. Right. And so work that. And you can say, you know, just like um, um, all companies, we only allow for one discount at a time. So let me figure out what's going to be the best uh, money saving discount for you. Right. Right. So. Because we offer, we talk about, you know, VIP memberships and that kind of stuff. Correct. We offer a discount. We offer mm. a 15% discount. 15, yes. For VIP and, members. And we, we, they could see that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it did happen sometimes. They would try to, okay, I'm, I'm going to buy the membership mm-hmm. the mem- and go to the membership rate and then mm-hmm. want to give my, you know, my first response, you know, military mm-hmm. family. Or a senior or whatever See, it whatever is. Whatever that is. No. Nope. And, then you, then you have to, and it's okay. You have that discussion. And it, the whole rest of the world works that way. Correct. They don't double up coupons. You can't right. go anywhere and use multiple coupons on the same thing. Nope. Can't do it. Okay. Yep. So, right. um, yeah, if they're a VIP member and you've given them 15% off and then they say, well, do you have a senior discount? So, yeah, we do. It's 10%. Um, but your discount as a VIP member the uh, is the greatest discount. And so we're only, I'm only um, able to, or we, we only give one discount at, at a time, which which makes sense to you, I'm sure, Mrs. Jones. Um, and so I'm going to make sure you get the 15% discount. That's your biggest savings. You leave right. it at that. So. There we go. All mm-hmm. right. Okay. Hey, speaking of discount, I have something free for you. It's discounted all the way to free. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, every professional tradesman knows you wouldn't build a house without a blueprint, right? So why are you trying to build your home service business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Pro Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable home service business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab the Million Dollar Pro Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash free and start building success. All right. How about that? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. How about that discount? <laughs> okay. um, all right. So guys, would love, 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 love if you give us um, a thumbs up. If you're watching YouTube or if you're any of your podcasts, your favorite podcast players, um, a review, a thumbs up, a follow, uh, all the things, right? Because reviews mean a lot to almost every business out there so we'd love to get it a yeah. nice review if you hate us just shut up and leave us alone <laughs> right just move on down the road move on down the road All but right. if you love us we'd love to get a um, a nice review right. from you as that helps our business as well so i right. appreciate it and i can fact i can tell if you hate it's okay if you, hate, you not hate us because successful people don't hate okay they're not, not hating but hey this doesn't speak to me mm-hmm. move on down the road right well, if, if you can move on down the road without <laughs> saying you guys suck <laughs> i know you're successful if you say you guys suck I know you're a hack. Right. Okay, that you're not anywhere because successful people don't have time to don't have time. respond. Okay, no, this isn't for me. I don't like this. They just move on down the road. Right. I'll right. try something different. Right. right. Maybe yeah, there's someone else that I like better. Can't imagine that there would be, right. but if there was, yeah. So every time I see a negative response, mm-hmm. I just know. Hey, th- again, this is I'm, you know, I'm 60 years old. Mm-hmm. So I even go beyond the 40 years in the trade. <laughs> if you're responding negatively, I, mm-hmm. I think loser, 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 mm-hmm. because winners don't have time to 
to yeah, respond to, negatively. To now, you can right. leave a comment like, I don't know, Richard, if I agree with you on this point or whatever. And then that's... You're that's, wrong. I'll <laughs> say you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd want to be 100% <laughs> wrong. But then that that's a more mature whatever. But yeah, if you're just... Right. Richard, your your teeth are too right white. Richard, your hands are too clean. Richard, right. your whatever doesn't matter. Right. You can't you can't be a plumber. What about that beard? <laughs> oh, my stars. All right. So let's move on. All right. That's so right. we are talking anyway. about powerful the powerful three step sales script to overcome most plumbing customers' objections. So we've gone over. Make sure you go over the offer. Make it clear to, to the Mrs. Jones what the offer is. Right. Number two, offering a credible discount. I think we beat that one um, to death in the in the earlier segment. But offering a credible discount. And these three, these things, you do these things, you will close. And this is the, the closer, okay? You're still, a discount's not enough, okay? Mm-hmm. Whatever you go to that, ask for their price. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's, the, that's the deal closer right there. Okay. Ask for their price, mm-hmm. okay? Listen to this. The most important question you'll ask, okay? This is the only question you need to ask. Mrs. Jones, what's in your budget to get it taken care of today? Today. Memorize that right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's that's the million dollar sales. I just gave it to you for free. That this is that this is the million dollar sales mm-hmm. phrase. This is you do this, you'll close mm-hmm. every single time. Okay, Mrs. Jones, what's in your budget to get it taken care of today? And then shut up <laughs> and listen. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you know, you just quoted for a water heater. Okay, okay, and we're always silly, you know. And well, I didn't think it'd be any more than you know. $900. <laughs> Don't come back. Here's, here's, what, we, here's some training here. You can't have your tech or you come back. Oh, well, this is, ain't no way you can do it for $900. These things cost $900. And by the time we put it in and we do this and all, they don't give it. Crap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, that's, that, that, you got a number. Okay. And even if they say it's free. Okay. Even if they came back and said, no, I, I thought you were going to pay me $50 for coming out. When they said you had a $50, <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> Coupon. The right. savings. Right. Something. I thought you were going to pay me $50 and then <laughs> fix everything. I love Don't. how you, you never exaggerate about I, those types of things. Well, I, I want to hit you upside the head. You got to <laughs> emotionally, you got you to gotta go this way because what happens is, and we, we had, had them, our guys, that's what we, we had to work with our guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. To say, because all of a sudden they, they know you can't do this job for a hundred dollars. Right. Okay. okay. Or, or this only costs $400 at Home Depot. Mm-hmm. You can't, edu- you can't, then, it was right, then you try to explain to them why that's 400, that's different than that. And this, you can't do it for that. Well, and my overhead. Right. And my, let, my let, overhead. Let me try explain, to teach them business let me or whatever. explain all my overhead you to lie, you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the big thing is psychologically, you got them to state a number. So they, they at least pulled their, their wallet out or opened up. They had an idea. Mm-hmm. I'll spend this. Mm-hmm. This is what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you've said, you know, you said two thousand dollars, and they didn't think it'd be any more than nine hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Okay. At that point, you can't have your tech go. Well, okay, I mean, your tech can get, oh, give only one discount. Correct. This is a different kind of conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. This isn't a discount. We're not. This isn't yeah, we're a, not a, a coupon and all that. What's in it? Okay. Mm-hmm. And you know, if you come up through, and you, you know, here where you've got all your time figured out, we want to sell the time. Right. Okay. And that's one thing you learn in the academy. Okay. That's the key. Yeah, you're not right. selling plumbing. You're not selling, mm-hmm. you know, um, HVAC equipment. You're not, you're not selling paint. You're not, you know, okay. You're selling time. Right. All right. And so we want to gather all the time. So we got to know, and there's a process for knowing what, what the time and what, what you can do it for. Mm-hmm. But we've seen it time and 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 time again in our own experience and in our hundreds of clients. Okay. Mm-hmm. They've gone through this. This works. Okay. All right. This is, you know, again, 40 years in the trades. Okay. You don't need special sales stuff. All right. What's happening is now we're coming back to, to Mrs. You know, Mrs. Um, Jones or Mr. Jones has stated it got, you know, a number. And this is just, I mean, this happens. This happens in real life, okay? Mm-hmm. And you said 2000 They said $900. Mm-hmm. I promise you, you come back with what your time is. And that's, the tech can't do this. That's to be something that they call the shop right in front of, you know, there's a process. We have a process for this, Wait, okay? We teach that in the academy. Right. And you come back with $1,500, sold. Mm-hmm. Sold. If you come their way. Mm-hmm. All right. Because they know $2,000 you're selling. If you built, you're credible, you've done all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And they've come out with their number. Okay. You've come their way and how you position it to them. Mm-hmm. It's done, sold every single time. You don't need special. Mm-hmm. Oh. So what you're telling the right. customer is it is, you know, I'm going to, let me, right. I'm, I'm not authorized to do that, but let me call into the shop and speak to my manager and yada, la, la, la. So they, they call in, talk to you, talk to GM, whatever it might be. Um, and then you come back and you say, okay, what we can do is for $1,500. Um, and you're, 
if the main thing is if we can do it today, right? Because right? I've got that. this, I've got this open time slot um, that's dedicated dedicated to your your job, um, and I'm I'm I can do it right now. Even if you have a hundred calls, even if you have a hundred calls on the board, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. And it is because I mean, like, you know, you you you're, you're just overloaded. There's no way, and you're, you're even this, you know your CSR is upset because we're having to call people because we're not going to make it, and and so well, let's just move on down. No. All right, your, your success depends on selling that time right there. You don't make it up. You got to sell mm -hmm. that time yep. right then. Right. So you want to cover that time. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's important. Exactly. Right. Um, so, and then you, know, you tell the customer if we can do it today. Um, I've got the open time slot. Um, it's dedicated just, just to your job if we can do it today. Done. Right? And Done. Yeah, so nine times out of ten, she's going to say go ahead. Now there's no, again, there's no additional discount on top of that. And again, guys, here's the important part. Make sure on your invoice, on your work order, whatever it might be where, that she's going to sign or that she's eventually going to get is that you put the, the, the task on there, water heater, whatever it is, um, put the task on there at the full price. They have to see the full price. And then after that, the discounted price, right? Special pricing, um, one day only, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and then Obviously, the, the negative amount of you give, you know, thousand bucks off or whatever it might be, then have that on there so they can see that they got the full discount. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, what, 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 won't they think that we're overcharging them? All? No, it, it doesn't. They don't Why think Why do you that. think Priceline? Remember Priceline? I think Priceline still exists. Right. But when Priceline came out, um, you literally could go out and, and get a hotel room for, <laughs> excuse me, half or even less because the hotel has an empty room and it's close to the, you know, maybe two or three days before they don't want those hotel rooms to be empty. They don't, they don't want them to be empty. They want to sell them. So as the, they're going to put things out um, and have customers who's willing to, you know, that, that needs a room and give them half off or whatever it might be. Right. Even though they've got other customers that paid full price and when the hotel rooms are, or the hotels are just two or three days away from that room sitting empty don't you think they'd much, much, much rather have, um, I was going to say, butt in the truck. That's not it. Um, a body in the bed. <laughs> body in the bed. <laughs> body in the bed um, for half the price than to leave it empty. Same yeah. thing. That's Priceline. Warm price body line. in the bed. Warm body. And yeah. they, um, airlines, I mean, Priceline was, was big for airlines. So there's right. empty seats on, on an airline, last minute flights, right? Um, they So you make it a flight that you paid half and somebody sitting next to you paid full price. Oh, yes. So, which is fine. Um, there, and there's no difference in service. You know, make sure that, that you don't have a difference in service right. if you've given a really good discount, but happens all the time. It's but psychologically, place. we understand that. So if you, it's okay because another fear is, well, I don't want to make it sound like we need the work in that way. And we're just looking, we're just giving them money. No, you're not. Okay. It's, it's okay to say, you know, we just, I don't it's, have your, have your text. I don't have a job after this or mm -hmm. whatever. That's in, and this we need, and I'm here. And so we won't be able to do it at a cost, mm -hmm. you know? The customer gets that. They're getting a deal. Okay, I right. know why I'm getting a deal. Mm -hmm. You don't have another job. That's why you're coming down so far. Mm -hmm. Or okay. I've got the opening. I've got the opening in my in my right. day. Got right. the open, which is true. You do have the opening in the day. You do. Right you then. do. Right, right then. Right because you just you dedicated that time. So I've got the opening in the day. Can get it taken care of for you today. The, um, these yep. three work mm -hmm. time and time and time again. Yep. When I talk when I talk with guys, you know, when they're they're struggling, they, you know, even even now like economic times, they say it's economic and people won't pay that. If you really, if I really hold their feet to the fire, it's, they don't, the guys aren't doing this, aren't doing, this. Aren't doing these things. They're not doing it. They're caught up in all the emotion too. And all you know, right. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. When you do these things time and time and time and time again, mm -hmm. you'll close 98, 98% of the calls. Yep. You know? Do you agree? Yes, yep. I agree. The bobblehead million dollar plumber totally agrees with works, this right. logic right there. You can see it. These there things are powerful. <laughs> I use that, that word specifically. Yes. They, mm -hmm. these you do these three things. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go over the, repeat the, go over the mm -hmm. offer again, make sure they mm -hmm. understand. You know, so right. it's mm -hmm. about money, offer a credible discount. Mm -hmm. It is about the money, mm -hmm. offer a credible discount. And then finally ask for their price. Yep. All right. And you'll close it. And serve your customer that's, that's well. All, that's all you got to do. Okay. So there we go. Okay. All right. Hey, if you do, I've been mentioned, if you, if you want to learn more about the Success okay. Academy, okay, and we, we talk about that mm -hmm. um, and see if that's right for you and what, what's all involved there. Um, you know, you can schedule a strategy call with a success coach, okay? And really, it's, those calls are meant, we want to find out about you and your business, okay, where you're at, what's mm -hmm. really holding you back, and then what's best for you. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you could ask about, hey, Richard's talking about the Success Academy, the lovely Laura, we hear about the Success Academy, what, what's this all about or what's involved? They'll gladly tell you about that. Mm -hmm. But we, really, we want to make sure, we want to know about you and make sure that we point you in the right direction. So that may be the Success Academy, mm -hmm. okay? 
a lot of time, you know, it, it can be all right. Mm-hmm. Or you may be pointing in the right, another direction. Mm-hmm. I don't, we don't really don't care. Okay. This isn't heavy pushing. We just want you to be successful. I just want, want the best for you. And we want to okay. raise the, um, raise the, the plumbing trade, right? Yes. Since so we get rid of hacks that are out there and plumbing, the plumbing professional and all the HVAC, electrics, all I of know, them. I know we're all about are, all the, all the trades, one right. trades in general. We need more tr- you know, trades, yes. the trades, you know, but we need one. to be professional but professional about it it's gotten mm-hmm. it's gotten hacky okay yep. and you know i do i kind of come hard you hear me i hit i'm from a plumber i'm a master plumber but that's where i really you know so I, I i hit my own more right i really hit hard on those mm-hmm. but it's it's that's sparkies this way. can probably be hacks there i've, I've seen them mm-hmm. seen you guys mm-hmm. hvc you know? guys can be hacks so don't be a hack right. raise the the quality and the profession to a higher level right raise it to a higher level that's what we're about all right so okay. there we go. Okay. All right. So simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash call. Mm-hmm. All right. And schedule all right, your strategy call. And there you can, you can ask them about the uh, success Academy. Okay. okay? All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, this is a good one. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is, there's so much here mm-hmm. and I, I, have, I have emotion here guys. It is this simple. <laughs> okay. But you got to do these things. It isn't the hard, you know, reality, the hardest mm-hmm. thing I had trouble with my guys, mm-hmm. the hardest thing is getting you guys to ask, you know, what, Mr. Jones, what's in your budget to get taken care of today? Mm-hmm. That is a little confrontational, mm-hmm. when they but, the butt, but it works. Okay. So I, okay. I'll, tell, I'll give you a little bonus there. Okay. <laughs> tell me really what's tough. If it, okay, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it. Well, it, okay. It is tough getting you guys to go that far. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. And so, but all right. Can be done. So, there we go. All right. Hey, I better, I'm rambling on here before <laughs> I let you go. As always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye everybody. <laughs>